Hello and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host Kristen and today we are going to work on super marshmallow crochet stitches. You can make lots of things with the marshmallow crochet stitch which is a textured stitch and when you use it with a very big yarn you get a super big marshmallow look. You can use it whether it's big or small on multiple different things and I can show you those today. So welcome to the replay, welcome to live. I'm putting my headset on because what I was doing is I was trying to film maybe the beginning <laughs> to what will be a edited video for YouTube. So today is kind of a unique thing. We did this the other day with loom knitting where um, I was filming part of what I will end up editing for, um, for YouTube for a full tutorial. And uh, good morning to everyone joining me. If you have questions for later, write replay and write your question. And um, Excuse me. Uh, thank you for joining me. Let me get some some of my, my coffee. Mm. Okay, I already need that. <laughs> so uh, today I am filming, um, and actually your input today during the live. So when you join me live, the benefit is we can chat and have interaction, and I get immediate feedback. It's instantly gratifying for me because I know the heartbeat of what is going on and what you guys are wanting. And um, if you watch this on the replay and you're like, but that's not what I wanted, then you got to join me live. And I'm sorry if you work, so it may or may not work for you, <laughs> but be sure and write replay and write your question or your desires. And, um, and I will try and factor those in because those count too. So um, I just can respond when it's live, obviously. <laughs> so uh, cheers and good morning to everyone. I hope you're having a great day. I'm going to say hello and then we'll get started here. Uh, good morning, Patty. Good morning, Sunshine. How are you? Good morning, Ellie, Marcola, and Bridget. Kathleen, hello. And uh, I just love seeing you. Y'all are my dears in the morning. Uh, hey, Sherry, how are you? Oh, Sarah Jane uh, Waters. Oh, this is Kirsten. I was. Oh, that, <laughs> that's me. She was telling you about me, Sarah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> in regards to the Jamberry tutorials. Yeah, yeah, I did it. I did a Jamberry tutorial. Um, yeah, uh, Nikki, who's uh, been an admin on Good Knit Kisses for a while, uh, she started me on Jamberry Nails. Um, and quite honestly, I have been bad about putting them on recently, although I do enjoy them. Uh, <laughs> I actually have some custom ones that are, um, they are looms. And I thought about, I'm not sure if I want to sell them on my Etsy store or if I want to um, actually, that's really funny. When I touch my face, my lighting gets better. What is up with that? And then it gets blown out. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. There's like a lighting phenomenon happening. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but I'm seeing it. Anyway, yeah, the Jamberry stuff. I actually have yarn on some Jamberry nails, um, some of that green yarn that I use a lot. And um, so anyway, maybe I, maybe I should just do a giveaway or something if anybody wants Jamberry nails. The first person to write Jamberry yarn nails, tell me and I, maybe I'll send you one. <laughs> I have a feeling it might be Ellie. <laughs> I got to dig it up and find it. <laughs> Those are easy to mail too. That would be a good giveaway, huh? <laughs> hey, Ada. Good morning, Carol. Um, good morning, Janine and Tanisha. Hi. Um, a little housekeeping. So, um, if you are part of the Lumnit, uh, the Goodnit Kisses Lumnit and Craft Club, me, Bridget says me, you got to write it, Jamberry Yarn Nail. You need it, you need to write it down, man. <laughs> Whoa, man. Um, <laughs> anyway, if you were part of the Goodnit Kisses Lumnit and Craft Club, uh, you saw a, um, oh, you can't hear me. What's up? Is something wrong with my sound? Can everybody else tell me if they can hear me? Jamberry yarn nail. Bridget got it. <laughs> I'm going to see how many I have. Maybe I'll just send them out to whoever writes it. We'll see. I don't know how many I have. Honestly, I know I have at least a couple. <laughs> I need to wear them in a video or something. I haven't even done it. If you like the loom one, right? Jamberry loom nail. 
<laughs> it's like it's like the lo the thing that you see on my YouTube video uh, YouTube page. You see all the colorful looms and everything. It's like it's got nifty knitter on it and stuff. You can hear me, Ellie. Awesome. Okay, so um, anyway, I was doing some housekeeping stuff in my Loom Knit and Craft Club. We have about fifteen thousand people on there right now, and. Um, we get people advertising all the time and I've kind of allowed some of that uh, actually due to pressure for some people who are, some of them are there, are still there and some of them aren't, um, something happened, uh, well over a year ago. Um, it's been almost two years now and it was super frustrating and I went ahead and allowed some stuff and I was pressured into allowing it. So, um, it has gotten too much and I've gotten people come in and they're like, Oh, I think I can just use this as a place to test my market and understand more about how, what people think in loom knitting. And, and part of that is great. And, and, you know, but the other part is if they're just lurking to then copycat off of people, that's not cool. Right. And then also like coming in, like someone posted this morning for, um, a competitor to Etsy and I love Etsy and no, I don't own stock in them, although I wish I did. Um, but it frustrates me to see someone who come in and then they're like, hey, go to this and you get this and this and this and here's the phone number and here's the this. And it's like, wow, you know, you could even bother asking an admin if it was OK to post that. Like, really? So, no, I just dropped them. I said, delete and block. I, I'm not apologizing for that. So, um Anyway, I just, uh, so if I know, I recognize some names on here that are joining me that were in the group and may have commented. So, um, it is not mainly about people who are just completely lurking for ideas cause that's okay. But, um, anyway, I just wanted to address it. Um, and I could probably make like a live Facebook thing in that group just to talk to people about it because it's very frustrating to me, um, to use and ab abuse a group. It's like, you know what, be there to encourage and, and, uh, ask questions or post, you know, like you can post and ask questions. You can help other people. You know, it doesn't have to be me or some other, you know, pattern writer who has to have the answers, right? I mean, there's super, super good experienced knitters and crocheters, limb knitters, everybody who's in the group and many people have the answer. So there's not just one person who holds the answer. There is no queen of anything. Okay. <laughs> so, and I'm not referring to me and I'm not referring to any one person. I just mean, you know, and so don't be afraid to post your stuff because people post stuff all the time and everybody's at different levels. So it's the same thing on this page. If you post your, your items to this page, I love it. I would love anyone to interact with you guys, but I made the private group years ago because, um, I really wasn't getting much interaction on this page, although I hope I get more now, but, um, the, um, the private, the private group, um, was good for people who wanted to post pictures of maybe something they're working on. That's a gift for their family that they didn't want them to see. So anyway, enough of housekeeping. What time is it? Okay. I'm not sure what time I started. I started a little late. I was trying to set up what I did is because I've got the super marshmallow stuff set up. I'm actually set up at my kitchen table instead of at my, um, my work table, which is where I normally film. Um, so when you see me do a tutorial with that white background, it's that. So I actually moved my white background onto my table. And so I'm going to show you some stuff now. So I'm going to show you a couple things. And if y'all want to vote, I can actually film that first. Um, one thing is I do have a video on, um, how to do the marshmallow crochet baby blanket and the, um, border. If you want to add a border to something that's, you know, square or rectangle. Um, I mean, I guess you could work it around any, any place if it wasn't a square or rectangle, but <laughs> Anyway, I don't know why I just said that. Um, so, uh, but I thought I can do a live thing and show you me working with um, big yarn in order to get that look. So, um, oh, let me read this. Don says, I'm going out of town for the weekend. I can get up extra early to have things done. So I can sit and watch you this morning and you aren't there. <laughs> oh, because she had binge watched me the other day. <laughs> I'm glad you're up and that was really sweet of you. Wow. Good morning. You need, you need to talk about Etsy thinking of opening a shop. Can you, can I help you? You know, it's been a while since I opened a shop on Etsy. Um, tomorrow, social media Friday. Can you join us for that? Maybe we can have an Etsy conversation tomorrow. Anybody else want to talk about Etsy tomorrow? 
Angel, if you will join me tomorrow, um, I can go look into that. Um, I, uh, maybe I can set up a fake shop. I really don't want to set up a fake shop, but I'm wondering if I should just for tutorial purposes. Maybe I could set one up for somebody. <laughs> so, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, the people who have joined us today, we are working on uh, making crochet video. Uh, I am just interacting in the beginning here, and then I will actually flip my camera and get started. I've been kind of doing some housekeeping stuff, so I like to kind of uh, warm up and talk to you guys Um before I get started. Um, I've missed a few questions. I'm sorry if I, if I didn't catch your question. Um, so, okay, here we go. Morning coffee and enjoy tutorials. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here's one thing. Okay. So I have decided, I've finally made the decision. If you've been watching me, I was going to make a shawl with this beautiful Karen cake. Um, I was going to make, um, a shawl. Okay. Well, I, silly me did not I did not bother <laughs> buying two to three balls in each color I just kind of got one of each because I had been on a yarn diet and that was sort of my first peak at going and buying some stuff and so as y'all saw in the coming weeks that unleashed the beast and I had broke really broke my diet when I bought all that big yarn um, so anyway when I did the Karen stuff I only bought one and I couldn't finish this so I have decided to let it go and I'm going to get um I think I'm going to buy the sweet rolls um when when they come out to Joann's I'll do another live thing and I'm going to go find the sweet rolls because I want to see those um at Joann's the sweet rolls from uh, Premier Yarns I think they're at AC Moore we do not have an AC Moore here that's one the one craft store we don't have around here so um anyway this is the marshmallow crochet scarf I've decided to make it a scarf so it has this these angle this angled um, shell. It's it's like a shell similar to a shell stitch, but it has that edge on it. It's a flat. Um, it's um, pillowy on the end here, and it's a little bit of a straighter edge here, but still it's really nice. And then the other side mirrors it. So if I flip it over, I've got I've got these lining up, and then. Sorry, I've got a tail I have to weave in, so I'm trying to get that out of the picture. But basically, they mirror each other, okay? So that's what's going on. So, um, yeah, it's very pretty. Uh, the, um, the Karen cake has a little bit of wool in it, and the sweet rolls do not. Uh, I've heard it, ta it's, it tastes, <laughs> it feels more like working with, Van, uh, oh, what is it, Van Vanna's? Oh my gosh, the name just flew out of my brain. Um, Vanna White has um, a yarn. Oh, what is the name of that yarn? Anyway, someone someone was posting that it, it feels more like that Vanna, Vanna's Choice. That's what it is. It feels more like Vanna's Choice and it's all acrylic. But this one is acrylic with a little bit of wool. So anyway. All right, so what I'll do is I'll write up the pattern, put that on my blog. It's going to be all these marshmallow ones are very similar to each other, but I've decided, you know what I need to do? I need to kind of get on board and just stop. Vanna's choice. Thank you, Angel. Um, I, I think I'm just going to kind of start doing like a series of things that um, have that similar stitch pattern that people are really enjoying. Um, I've seen other designers do that and I thought, do I really need to do that? But no, I think I, I, think I do. <laughs> so, um, Anyway, okay, so then I also have, so y'all vote if you want me to show you, um, I, I, whatever I do will be similar to this. I'm thinking of showing you this in an exploded version. You know what's an exploded version? A super version is actually this cloud, okay, in the super, I'm sorry, in the, um, in the big yarn. See this? See the cloud floating by? floating by so this this is a cloud and what it is is it's actually triangular in shape and it's exactly how I was making the scarf but when I use the big yarn it actually becomes like a baby prop you can do it in a giant like a baby blanket that's in the shape of like a cloud really it's a triangle but it's pillowy and so it does this and you could cut off the top or, you know, add more, whatever. You can kind of make it your own. 
Um, so I'm thinking, would you guys like me to show you how to do the, um, the first row and then work your way back? And do you want to see it in the super me struggling? <laughs> it's fun once it gets started, but I can work with it at, with the really big yarn or I can make the small version and let me show you, it's in red, so don't be alarmed, but this is a cloud um, in red, <laughs> okay? Hang on, I didn't weave my ends in, I'm terrible, I know. So this is a cloud. Look at this cloud. This is what it is, a small version. This is using the Bernat baby, uh, Bernat yarn, yeah, baby blanket yarn, or you can use regular blanket yarn. And wow, this is, the lighting is messing it up. What do you think of this cloud? Do you, would you want to see me make a cloud and tell you what you need to chain in the big yarn or in the little to make your own cloud? I think these would be really fun. Like if you, um, uh, even if you're a luminator and you want to do like a straight up, like flat, just plain blanket, and then you stitch these on top, um, for like little clouds everywhere, wouldn't that be cute? And maybe stitch like a, like a little raindrop on or something. So anyway, I've got this color, which is more appropriate for a cloud. Um, this color today to use. And um, I do white, but I have a white background and it just would be hard to see. So um, I'm thinking a small cloud would be easier to let you guys know. Another thing I can do is, and now this is red again. If you saw the other day and I talked to you about the cloud, you saw that I made angel wings. So look at these. Now, I still haven't woven in my, my um, tails yet. Look. Do you like the angel wings? So the angel wings, um, now you could attach them, um, sew it on and attach it to like maybe a a soft um, lacy headband or something like in the whatever color this is or dye it to match and put it around like a newborn baby or you could just lay it easily um, uh, simply on their back while they're while they're naked with their little booty facing up and then put it on the big cloud what do you think so here's your flap your wings <laughs> So what I can do right now, <laughs> oh, y'all like it? Um, I can show you the cloud and then I can also show you the wings. So um, if you want me to do cloud and wings, write both. If you want me to do one or the other, write what that is, cloud or wings. Oh, the wings would be good on a bear. I actually have a bear with wings. Little pop quiz. I actually had a business officially named when I, before I was married, this is in college after um, MJ Designs, I actually decided to quit. I was going to quit school, quit college. And um, I went back to college though. And I formed Angel Berries Floral Designs. And Angel Berries was a bear with angel wings. And that was my logo. <laughs> and I did um, like silk florals and bows and and arrangements and stuff like that. So anyway, so now I need to get my bear out. I need to get a bear and like put that on there. So yeah, it was so sugar sweet, cute. So um, Kathleen, I just heard you say to learn and then it says you had a funeral. I'm really sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry. I hope I can cheer you up today. Um, sending some, yeah, let's send, send her some love, Kathleen. Sending you some love today, okay? Um, I am excited. To, I'm going to go back and I'm going to read um, Wings. Your father passed away. Oh, the wings would be very appropriate. I'm so sorry. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. No matter what his age, it's hard to lose your father. And no matter your relationship, that's a big relationship, so... I'm sending some love to you right now. Um, we love you. Um, I'm going to go back here and, and look. Let's see. 
Yeah, it's, it's Tanisha. It's ongoing. It's cute to put on a newborn for pictures. Yeah. And we have some people who watch me who like to make their own uh, photo props or people who sell photo props on Etsy to people. So I think it'd be very good. Um, you know, that just answered my question. I'm going to do for Kathleen, I'm going to do the wings first. Okay. All right. So let me do the wings and then, um, I can do the cloud. So, um, okay. Love you. All right. Um, let me get everything ready. If you happen to have some of this stuff, I'll tell you what I have and then how we can get started. If you want to work along with me, I understand this is a totally last minute tutorial. It's not something you got yourself ready for. So I'm going to put them aside, but um, this was one of the things I was saying that I could make on camera today too. It's, it's like a super marshmallow cowl. So that was the other one. So I'm just putting that aside. I'm letting y'all know what I'm doing because it looks like, I'm looks like I'm fidgeting a lot <laughs> over here. And then here's the big cloud. Just put that on the floor. <clears throat> Get my ball of yarn out of the way. This is the big, the big yarn. <laughs> All right, I've got my cloud yarn in my birth, Big Bertha bowl. If you saw me yesterday, his, here's Big Bertha. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Look how tiny the blanket yarn looks uh, inside Bertha. <laughs> I thought this would be cool because even if you had like a couple of balls, you could stick them in there and pull at the same time. So it's actually got two holes for doing that. All right, so there's Bertha. So what you need is you need some blanket yarn. Um, this is a chenille type fuzzy yarn. It doesn't have to be that brand, but that's the brand I like. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, no, this is not a paid advertisement. I just enjoy it. Um, <laughs> and, um, let's see, I'm going to move this scarf out of the way. Okay. Getting ready. Okay, and if you want to get your L hook, an eight millimeter hook, that would be perfect. Um, oh, okay, Angel, have a good day. Jeannie says, can I do it on a loom? Uh, I have not done it on a loom. I probably should learn how. If you want to go to loomlore.com, Brenda Myers um, has a, um, <clears throat> I think it's actually a photo tutorial on how to translate um, crochet stitches on a loom and she actually does like a, a granny square. Um, I have not done it. I need to do it, but um, I would say Brenda would be the authority in that and because <laughs> she developed it and figured it out. So um, I would have to like go and experiment with it. So uh, what you need to know how to do is a single crochet, a double crochet, and um, I mean, you know, your basic foundation chain. So really single and double is really the skills that you need. Um, so most people who crochet can do that. Even a beginner can do that once you start get going. Okay. All right. Sorry, I'm just getting ready. Let me get my pattern ready. Um, part of this is me looking at my notes that I make when I'm writing a pattern. And then the part of it is me looking back at the... Um, my textured stitch because I just want to make sure I'm getting it right because I go back and forth all the time so I have to remind myself to okay okay the wings I'm gonna I'm gonna crochet these in because I have to like what what um what I'm doing is I'm gonna use these for um, a video tutorial for later so um, I need to make sure that this looks okay so that I can actually um, put this up on YouTube. So um, I hope if y'all will give me a moment here, y'all kind of chat amongst yourselves and um, shoot, I don't have my um, scissors in front of me here. I'll let you see what I'm doing. I'll flip the camera because otherwise this is just boring. Um, ow. Oh, I scratched my finger bad. Oh, wait, hang on a second. 
Melissa says the wings on a baby sleeping bag would be so cute. Yeah, that would be really cute. You could even just stitch it on the back. Um, Dawn says, do you remember years back when we were all doing that granny on a loom afghan? People swore it was crochet and we had to keep saying no. <gasps> Dawn, so you've done it? Dawn, you, you, have you done Brenda's stuff? That sounds like you have. Uh, I need to talk to you because... Yeah, I mean, if I have questions, I may be calling you. Absolutely. Um, oh, Marcola, okay, lots of love to you. She's got to go. Carrie, no, I haven't done any Disney stuff um, like Mickey ears. No, um, if I do stuff like that, I generally don't advertise about it because, honestly, I don't want to get in trouble and it's not, it's not worth getting a takedown letter and I can do other things, so... No, I don't. There are other people who do that. I very much, I'm very much a rule follower um, when it comes to stuff. So um, uh, if I know, if I know the rules, <laughs> if I know the rules, uh, anyway. So yeah, let, let you see who did the pattern. Yeah, that'd be great. I think Brenda Myers though is the one who originally started it. So she probably is the one who has that information. So, all right, let me flip the camera here. Oops, sorry, I'm like totally in the way. All right, so sorry, I'm adjusting things you, you don't know. I mean, I know you think, oh, I can see that fine, but Kristen has to have it in a certain way. And I think I am too far away, so I'm going to adjust my camera down. So please be patient with me. As I'm sitting at a table right now. All right. Can you guys see that okay? Okay. Melissa, good night. Sorry. <laughs> she's, she's across the world from me. I, I would do this with a, um, I, w I would do this properly <laughs> with a tapestry needle, but right now mama's got no time. I should have done this beforehand, but I want to do this for Kathleen because I, re I really didn't think I would do the Wangja wings and I'm actually very excited to do it for her, so. See, that's, that's why it's good to ask you guys what you want to see. I love how, um, I, I love how YouTube has afforded me to be able to communicate with people all over the world. It's a very unique position. Um, there's some stuff happening right now where, um, personalities, you know, people like that you see on TV that maybe you have seen for years. They're actually, I heard this the other day, um, from a big YouTuber and, um, he was saying, I mean, like privately we were talking and he was saying that, um, he had heard about how people were, um, celebrities were upset because they weren't, um, being as successful on YouTube as other established YouTubers that like, Oh, it's no fair that, you know, YouTubers have been on, you know, so long and now they have this notoriety and they get more attention than the others. And it's like, no, that's not what it is. What it is, is we're actually like able to talk to people, chat with people, you know, communicate, have a, have a community. Um, you know, it's not about, you know, being a hot shot or big time or anything like that. It's about people. It's a people thing. And, um, I know I'm on Facebook's in here talking about it, but that's, it's true. And, um, so I wish I had some scissors to trim that a little bit. So you're seeing me do what's the, would be the last part of the video. And I'll just take this part out and show it like fast forwarded or something. Hopefully I'm not totally off camera. I'm not paying attention to what's on the monitor. I don't know if what I'm saying is boring or not. I'm not even reading your comments right now. You know, what's cool about this blanket yarn is I can do things that I wouldn't normally do. Like this is not normally the way I would try and finish a project out because um, it would be very evident that I'm doing it wrong. 
Um, but because of the way this yarn is and this stitch, it, it's like kind of a messy stitch, which I actually, I like it cause it's very pillowy. And so, um, I don't actually have to worry about, um, my tools that I have on hand at the moment. So like if you're on a car trip or something, you're like, Oh, I don't have time for scissors. Well, you can snap this with your hands if you're, if you're strong enough and, I say that just because I know that there's so many people at different levels where they may not actually have the strength to do it. So, um, okay. All right. So here's that. Wow. Got kid hairs on it or something. Okay. You're watching a master at work, Ellie. Oh, <laughs> whatever. You're so sweet. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I had to have a coffee break. Okay. I'm getting my pattern out on my other phone here. <laughs> Looking for my wings. Okay. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today we are going to work on angel wings. Aren't these so sweet? And the angel wings can really be used for a number of things. I originally envisioned it as a photo prop opportunity for you to be able to put it on top of a big pillowy cloud and take a picture of your baby um, with their little naked bottom facing up and it on top of the baby. Isn't that sweet? You could even stitch this to a, um, a lacy headband and put it around them as long as it's loose and to keep it on a little longer or just gently lay it on. Um, you make these separate. We make two of them and then just connect them in the middle just by tying a knot with your loose ends. And um, we're going to get started. What you want is, um, oh, and the other thing is, is you know, you can use it for a memorial um, or something and add it to another blanket or add it to whatever you like, um, even add it to a teddy bear. So uh, let's get started with your materials you're going to need. This is um, Bernat baby blanket yarn. Uh, you can use the Bernat solid or striped or whatever you want. Um, it's a boucle type yarn with a, a thread right in the middle. You can actually pop and pull it without having to use scissors. And I am using this light teal color here and we're going to make a cloud. You can make it in white too. Uh, this is an eight millimeter L USL or eight millimeter hook from Clover. And, uh, let's, let's get started. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is my taking my break and I just, <laughs> my throat is doing some weird noise. Okay. I cut my hand. <laughs> so this is going to be in the tutorial. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I did something yesterday and it scratched it. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to um, start with a chain of 21. If we're using a smaller yarn, um, if you want some big giant wings, then uh, you can use the big Bernat yarn and you can actually use a big old giant us 50 or 25 millimeter hook and um but if you change 21 on that it's still going to be monster so this is the ratio for this size if you want to change your shot size you may have to just experiment um, i'm going to start with a chain of 21 we're going to make our slip knot okay and then we're going to start with row one of the pattern so let's do chain 21 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen whoa there's a hair ha 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 thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, oh, 21. Okay, what this is, is it is a um, multiple of two plus three. So whatever it is, you, you can do an even number 
and you really can add one but um so make sure that your number is um, so my number is 18 and then i'm adding three so that's what makes 21. Uh, let's get to the pattern here row one all right getting my reminder off this side okay so row one we're going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook so we're going to yarn over and find the third chain now in the Bernat yarn, I think it's it's hard to tell where that first part starts. So I kind of feel my way on here. So I've got um, this side. One second. Hey babe, you headed out? Love you. Bye. Are you lying? I am. But I was saying bye because I know you're trying to be quiet. Okay. Anyway, um, I am. Um, uh, I'm going to go third chain from the hook. So I'm going to figure out where this is. So we've got one, two, three, go right inside and then make sure that you have two loops on the top here. So pull that through. Okay. And then you've got three loops on your hook here. When you yarn over, you're going to have four. So you're going to pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So that is your double crochet third from the hook. Then we're going to skip. So the row one is the only one that's different. Okay. We're going to skip the next two chains and we're going to get into the main part of the pattern. So that was a, that was one there. So we're going to skip one, two, and I kind of just push on this thread that's in here. And then I'm going to go into the, the third here. So whoops. And yeah, we're going to do single crochet, go straight in, yarn over, pull through, both of them. Okay. Now we're going to yarn over and go right into that stitch again. Go in, pull through one. You got three, yarn over again, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do that one more time, yarn over into the stitch, pull through, wrap and pull through two, wrap and pull through two. So that is the textured stitch. Single, double, double. Then you're going to skip over two more. So one, two, Hang on a second. That's one, that's two, and that's three. The first chain is the, with going through the foundation chain, I think is harder because it's harder to see that. Um, so I kind of feel my way on it and it takes me longer. The rest of the pattern actually flies once you get going. So I did a single and a double. Now I'm doing the second double. And if you want to see it slower, the Marshmallow Crochet Baby Blanket tutorial, actually I go much slower. So, one, two, three, okay, We're just going to repeat all the way down the line. And if it's hard for you to see, um, or you're visually impaired, <clears throat> I count my stitches by just feeling them. So I feel, okay, I've got one thing, one, two things, three things, because it is so thick. So I, I kind of look across here and I go, oh, did I miss something? And then, you know, of course, if you messed up, you can always pop it out and frog it back rip out that last few stitches. That's the beautiful part about crochet. It's, it's easier to do that. So there's that one, one, two, three. You can also kind of fudge this pattern. So if you're like, Oh my gosh, I'm missing a stitch. I didn't do enough. Well, it's fine. You can kind of fudge the first row. It's really not going to be a huge deal. Got one, two, three. Getting that third chain. So skip two. Do the single. Okay. And then I've got this last one here. And then what I'm going to do is do a single crochet on the very last stitch. So I'm just going to pull through single crochet, leave this tail just hanging. 
And then um, we're going to start on row two. Row two is chain two and turn. Okay. So let me go back to my notes here. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm having to go back and forth. All right, so uh, this is row two. Now, the difference on the wing pattern versus the blanket pattern is I'm going to actually stop short two, okay? So that means two chains, I'm gonna stop short. Um, actually, stop short two of them here. So like, let's look at this for a second. So I just, I just worked this stitch all the way down, okay? So I just came back. Now I'm headed back this way. I'm gonna stop short so this little wing comes out like that. Okay, so row two starts double crochet in that first stitch here, and one more. All the rows will now start with two double crochets in that first stitch because with your first chain that counts as your single, so you've got a single double double. Then we're going to come over and bypass this chain here, this chain here, and go into this little hole here for the third chain. Okay. So that's, that's the same thing. So you, you skip those two chains and then you go in. It, it's very apparent after you do that first row of what, what is, uh, what is available to you to use. So single double double is the texture stitch. And that's that marshmallow. Single, Double, double. Okay. Oops. Single, double. Double. Okay, so I have um, three of these left. You can see there's like a pillowy edge here, here, and here. Okay, those are three texture stitch. We are stopping two short from the end. So this will be one, two. I would normally go in here and do a single crochet to start, but it's also the way that I end a row. So I am now done with my row after I do a single crochet here. Now I'm just going to repeat row two on all these rows, but I just make them different at each time. So I'm going to um, chain one, two, and we're going to repeat row two to the end of the full row like the regular blanket. Okay. So single crochet, I'm sorry, double crochet. I said single, I meant double. And another crochet. All right. Tilt it over. Okay. Keep going. Single. Again, for a, sh a slower video, uh, check out the Marshmallow Crochet Baby Blanket tutorial. And I also have some videos from myself and from Mikey that he has uploaded to my channel personally because I've done some videos on his and he has some beginner crochet videos that go super slow and they show how to uh, do a single crochet and a double um, in a very um, slow format, even holding your yarn. Okay, so now I'm at the end. The standard way to end a baby blanket is to go and do a single crochet in that very last stitch, okay, and finish that out, and then you're going to chain up one, two, and that's how you finish the baby blanket side, and that's how you finish row three on this pattern. Now we're going to, um, of course, we've got our chain two for our row four, and then we're going to turn our yarn. Now we're going to slip the stitch in the second chain, and um, then we're going to chain again. So we've got the um, one, let's see, this is one, two. Okay. So the one right below your chain, your chains here, there's the first stitch. This is the second stitch. I want you to go in the second stitch and we're going to slip it. Okay. So I pull through some yarn and then I pull it through 
that stitch there. So that is a slip stitch. Okay. Now, when uh, I finish that, I'm going to chain two. One, two. Okay. That's it. Now we're going to do the texture stitch. Um, we're going to go fit it where it was supposed to go here, um, which would be right here, which is uh, right over one more. So you're going to skip this one and go in. You're going to still go into the same spot that you would normally have gone. And this was just to make a sort of a different, um, I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm rounding this out. So these wings are going to get rounded out here. Okay. That's, that's really all I'm doing. Uh, whoops. So now we're going to, I've done a single, I need to do a double. Okay. And a single. Double. I'm just counting those because I thought maybe I was missing something. Okay. And. Okay, we've done the texture stitch twice. So the pattern says to do two. So I did one, two, and then single crochet. So a single crochet in where I would start that next one. That's it. Okay. Now we're on to row five, which is chain two and double crochet twice. One, two, and then double crochet like you would normally. Okay. And then we're going to do the texture stitch one time. Okay. It's not over until we get the two doubles in there. Okay. So we've got, uh, let's see, we've got the, I'm just going to read my thing. Okay. And then we're going to fasten off. Single crochet to fasten off. Okay, so I'm fastening that off. I'm taking my yarn and breaking it. Okay, and so that ends one wing. See that one wing? And then we're going to make two. And then once you, um, so you're going to weave your end in and um, tie your next one together here like this. So what this was is this one and then you make two and tie them together and that is your wing. You can also um, choose to keep them separate of course. You don't have to have them together um, or you can chain and, and connect them that way. So that's, that's completely up to you. Um, if you want to stitch these two together, um, you could do that. It's it just, it just a matter of like if I wanted to take my yarn here and use that to sew them together. I've got plenty to do that. So um, I hope you like that. And um, I'm going to pause for a minute. So this is a question to my uh, live audience. Do you guys want me to show you, um, if I ended this tutorial and I have half of a wing in the blue, would you, uh, would you like me to have it showing two of the blue? <clears throat> like, does it bother you? That I would stop here or should I have a blue set as well? I'm going to ask Kathleen. Kathleen, do you think that I should complete it with the blue and then show that as my um, icon? I think I just answered my question by asking you that. That's, that's just how I, you know what, I'm just going to do it <clears throat> and you guys can talk and stuff. I'm going to make another one. Let's weave this in. So I'm going to weave in my end here and get it ready. You know, Nothing worse than going back to a project and you're like, oh, all I have to do is weave in my ends. So I would recommend that you do them when you can because I am bad about weaving them in on time. And then I continue to have these loose ends and then I'm always apologizing. I'm like, just get it done. It's like stuff in the kitchen sink. Just get it done. All right.
Ellie says to stop. It was amazing. Well, thank you. Do y'all want me to show you again? I mean, I think I'm going to make it again. I'm going to just, I'll just speed through it. I think I skipped too many. Sometimes it's just hard to see when I'm not actually going to crochet in here. I'm just trying to fix the stitch. I did this one too fast. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's like it was, I think what it is, is it's like my yarn, my, my chain is all messed up. Like there's something my gauge must be off there. Like, I think I, I think I did something where my, I pulled my chain too loose or something. Oh. I'm just deciding if I want to keep going or not. You know, I'm going to see what it looks like. I'm just going to keep going. If 
I don't like it here in a little bit. I'm going to, I'll, I'll start over. Yeah, there's something about this. See, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Why is that different? Did I not count you right, y'all? I'm thinking I, I wasn't counting right. I'm thinking I was off on my chain, so I'm going to just start. Hi, Louisa. Welcome. I hope your grandmother's doing okay today. I don't know what my deal is today, sorry. It just shows you not everything's perfect. You don't get to see all the mess ups and retakes and things that people do when they film. It's like when you're filming your brain like like go somewhere else. I don't know, but like I could be doing this and not mess up at all when I'm just sitting there watching TV and <laughs> Netflixing. But as soon as you turn the camera on. That's real life. Oh, cool. <laughs> this, thing, this thing is like fighting with me right now. <laughs> it's like, I got gotcha. you. I'm not letting you in there. Oh, my word. Love you, Kathleen. <laughs> All right, there we go. Home stretch. Do it, do it. I need some coffee after this foundation row.
This is a much cleaner wing here. Oh, fiddlesticks. There we go. Darn you, foundation chain. Y'all, they are not playing. Seriously? I, I'm really, really? Like, are you serious, yarn? This is hysterical, y'all. I can't even get it in here because... Because this, this thing has decided that because I frogged it, it doesn't want to work with me. And I'm really getting ticked off. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's like, I am actually fighting with this yarn. Like, you will submit. You will respect my authority. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, good grief. That was... That was a, that was a crazy. Okay. Pay no attention to the crazy that just happened there. Okay. Chain two. I'm going to get some coffee. All right, row two, chain two, turn, double crochet. I'm telling you, it will fly after this. It's that first row. Somebody clock me. I'm not kidding. I like I'm showing y'all what's happening. This is, this is ridiculous. That's the worst. I have never had that big of a problem with my yarn co not cooperating with me. I mean, that's, that was, that was crazy. Okay. So I'm stopping too short on here on this wing. I'm going on to row three. Um, I'm going to repeat the row three and just like a regular blanket. It's the only row that's like that. This is your father's favorite color? Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Oh, how cool. Well, you'll have to do that and let us know. I think, um, yeah, there's actually this color, this um, light teal in the big yarn. 
So you can actually, um, you could make some large ones uh, in the big yarn and maybe stitch it on a blanket and make the whole blanket like that. Like maybe make a white blanket and then stitch it right on. If you wanted to. Or make, make the wings and then stitch white all the way around it. You know, make it into a blanket. I've never done that, so I'm I'm telling you something. I'm not prepared to like give you an answer on how to complete it. Okay, and I'm on row, um, that was three. I'm on row four, chain two, one, two, turn. This is the slip stitch row. So I'm going to skip the first one, go to the second, and slip stitch. Let me try that again. Okay, Skip the first, go to the second, go in, pull through yarn, and then pull through that first stitch. Now I'm going to chain two again. One, two, go into the standard place I normally put this stitch. Single crochet, double, double. So this is the one where I only do it twice, so I'm doing it once, twice. We're curving the wing and shortening, okay? The way we shorten is I'm just going to single crochet here. And then that is the end of round four. Again, what we just did is we, we made this part curve here and then we, we stop it here. And now we're gonna go this way to row five and that's our last, last row. So now we're row five, we're gonna chain two, one, two, okay, the two double crochet, which actually makes one texture stitch. And then do it one complete texture stitch. And then you can fasten off. You can fasten off with a, um, a slip stitch or a single crochet. I'm just continuing with the single crochet. Because that's how I normally fasten off. And I think it, I think it still looks nice. It still gives it a little bit of a texture. Um, and then I just break my yarn. And then I'm going to weave that in. And again, I, I would don't, I don't normally do weave like this. Um, I'm only doing this because this blanket yarn is going to hide, and um, I can I don't have to use a tapestry needle on it. But if it wasn't the blanket yarn uh, and it wasn't this stitch, I wouldn't do this. I would, I would get a tapestry needle and weave it in nicely. This is a nice messy, <laughs> a nice messy way to do it. Life is messy, embrace it. Okay, which is appropriate for these wings. We're going to give it some grace, right? We all want grace. Don't worry about tomorrow. There's grace in tomorrow for itself. There's grace for today for today. Okay. All right, so we have got our wings. So I've got some uh, not so good wings with the red. <laughs> and then we've got our blue sweet wings. Okay, so now I'm just going to tie a knot or I can use it to stitch it in. Okay. And I just tie it nice and taut. Like 
back on itself. So that's not going to go anywhere. Okay. And then once I get those in, um, I'm going to crochet them in my, um, my tails. And um, I would say if you are going to use this as a costume or something, this would be really fun to do, um, like to add maybe a chenille stick that matches like a pipe cleaner or something, an art wire um, with or without the fuzz on it. And then you could maybe support it inside to where the wings could maybe stand up. Um, you could play with, with how, they, how they work. Um, you could wet block this to get this to lay out flatter. Um, but all in all, it's just such a sweet project to do. Um, I'm so glad that you joined me today. If you make a set of <laughs> good or evil <laughs> wings, whatever you want, whatever you want to call this, this is fun though. I mean, if you could even do these for um, a costume um, idea. So um, you can make them large again on the um, super jumbo uh, yarn uh, with a jumbo needle or just use your regular, I'm sorry, a uh, hook or use your regular hook. Um, either one would be fun. So thank you again for joining me at Good Knit Kisses for the crochet wings tutorial. Have a great day and happy crochet. Hey, did you like that? <laughs> that was fun. The red is cheery. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I love the red. Uh, it's funny because when I originally was making it, I was um, sending messages to Carol and um, I didn't want her to know I was doing it in red because my daughter had used the last of my, my Bernat um, scraps of the antique white. And, um, and so I took the picture and then I changed the tone to black and white and she thought it was like a gray. <laughs> so anyway, ta-da! And let it set you free. Oh, see, you're seeing that I didn't, I didn't really finish this one. I need, I need to trim it with some scissors. Um, I'm going to scroll up and kind of read your things. I was not really paying attention. I saw a few comments here and there, but anyway, let me see. Oh my gosh. Y'all are so funny. Um, <laughs> Kathleen, oh honey, carry on with the next project. She's like, she's just saw, seeing how bad I was. Did you sweat, Kristen? Yeah. Did you see my face? Look how red my face is. It was not this red when y'all saw me earlier, was it? Oh, sorry. I just hit my tripod. But it was crazy entertaining. <laughs> um, uh, John says, Christopher is the model in your pics. He's laughing at you yesterday because you were yelling at the ball of yarn you kept dropping. I'm um, telling it I'm going to toss it in the trash if I drop it one more time. That's how I felt just now. I'm like, I'm going to throw it across the room. Seriously. Yeah, special. Co I need special coffee. I need adult coffee. <laughs> Gayla says it's awesome. The crazy parts. My son shakes his head at me and thinks I need meds. <laughs> oh, Jill. Jill says, Dawn, my friend threatens her ball and balls of yarn with letting the cats have them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
Oh, okay. And then I did see Kathleen's uh, comment about her dad. Gayla says, I tell my yarn balls to get back here now. Oh my gosh, you are funny. Serendipity, angelic, she says. Alicia says, Hobby Lobby has a smaller ball of yarn like this one. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they have their own brand of this blanket kind of yarn. Hobby Lobby, they they sure have their own their own knockoffs. <laughs> in the uh in the floor in the furniture business, um, we call it OEM. So basically what it is is it's a company like China or wherever, and then they make it, and then what they do is it's OEM, and so they'll make a special um set of uh colors and yardages or whatever and um and that's exclusive to one company. And then, um, so, you know, there's only a limited amount of people who actually make this stuff. And then they give, they have to like pat, they do a patented thing and it's only for that company. And in fact, Burnett does the same thing because they'll have like colors that you can only find at Joann's or colors you can only find at Michael's and all that kind of stuff. And Hobby Lobby probably contracts with the same people, except that they're buying it direct. So... I'm just saying I'm not privy to that information. I'm saying from my own experience in business, that's what we experience with OEM products. Um, we're like, oh, that's the same thing. But this person, you know, Noel makes this one or Han makes this one, you know, like in the commercial furniture, office furniture business. Um, Gayla, she says, oh, I just saw the blanket with wings attached to my head here. Cool. Uh, only the wings were bigger and sewn across the top like a border. Yeah, you could make them. Um, so what you want to do is you want to do a multiple of two and then add three and then know that whatever you make, that first row, you're going to stop short a couple. I mean, you might find in your pattern you want to stop short three. If you make it really big, um, really, really long, then you might want to stop short um, a little bit more. But just know that it'll get it might get curly on you. Um, so I would just do only like maybe two or three and then the ratio will work out because you're just slowly making this thing go down. So when you want it to start kind of curving, cause otherwise it's just going to be an angle, but when you want it to curve, make your curve row, like row four, is it row four? Um, where it, where you, cha you sort of like you chain two, slip the stitch, chain two more and then turn it. And then you're just going to stop it short. So you start shortening the thing and shape your shaping that way. So, um, if I need to do something a little bit bigger then maybe I can make a bigger set. Maybe if someone wants me to try a kid set or something, <laughs> you could probably use, um, let's see this one. This is the big Bernat blanket yarn. You could probably do giant wings out of this and then hang them on the back of a kid. It, but it, I mean, it might be a little heavy. Um, so Don says, okay, I have, a, I have to share a funny story that fits. I was at my wonderful local yarn shop three and a half hours away and they got new yarn in. We're all chatting and they weren't busy. So they were going to wind it for me. The Hank was all tangled. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Kathleen. Oh, it was my pleasure. Honestly. Gayla says, could save the red wing for Valentine's and make cherub wings. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Need to block it. Yeah. Ta-da, Gayla says. Sorry, I'm way behind. Is there a written pattern? There will be a written pattern. Yes, Natalie. It's written right now on my handy-dandy notebook, which is my phone. <laughs> That's my old phone, but I have my notes. It's cool because um, Apple products, um, if you use the notes section and you have multiple um, devices and you have the same account signed on, you can share your notes between devices. So like I could pick up my iPad and continue on. I can go sit at my desk and then take my notes and make my pattern out of it. So it's really cool. So I'll be able to do that very soon. As soon as I get this pattern, I'll make a matching blog, okay? I'm not promising when I'm going to get that done. I'm just, I'm going to do it as soon as possible. Um, clearly, because I, I can see how people might want to use it for um, the holiday coming up. Always a blast. Thank you. Ada says, I can be here watching you two hours to make my day. Oh, you're so sweet. I don't even know how long I've been going. Probably too long. Um, 
Gayla said, would be fun. I'm behind oodles of newborns now. Must be in the water around here. Everyone's having babies. <laughs> is the live video saved on Facebook or YouTube site? The live video is here on Facebook. And um, uh, Carol gets on here. She, she, uh, I saw earlier she had to leave. Uh, she had to go take someone somewhere. Um, but she um, she takes and, um, what do you call Curates. She will take this video and put it in the playlist area. So like if you, if you go to Good Nick Kisses page, um, Facebook page, you may be viewing this in your feed. Okay. In your, in your main news feed and that's fine. But if you click on Good Nick Kisses, it goes to the page and then you want to click on the word videos, which will be on the left side of your bar. Okay. So you click on videos and then see playlists and you may have to expand it to see more and there'll be a playlist for each day of the week. And if you want to do crochet, you're going to click on Thursday and she'll have the most recent on there. If this one's not on there, it's because she hasn't done it yet. And then in that case, you'll just have to scroll through um, all the videos or the live feed. Usually she gets it done uh, within a week or so now. She's been really good about um, doing that since we started, since I showed her how to do it. Because <laughs> I was having to do it and I was lacking. I'm like, Carol, I need help. So anyway, hopefully that answers your question. Um, Kayla says, oh my, crocheted turkey wings for Thanksgiving. Well, I was thinking more like people doing stuff for fall festivals and Halloween and stuff. Um, I don't really celebrate Halloween, but we do dress up for fall festival stuff. Um, Kathleen says, have a great day. You have to get ready for work. Okay. Um, you have a great day, Gayla. Um, I'm going to head out of here since I didn't really do this show, this super crochet. That's okay. You can still do the same thing. If you're just joining me, you just want to use, do what I did in this video here and use the hook and you can make some super wings for yourself and they will work up like super big. So, um, this particular thing here, this cloud that I did, um, this is the size. And when I made it in the same chain and everything, same link. I got this. It's huge. So anyway, huge. <laughs> anyway. All right, y'all. You have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. And tomorrow we're going to talk about Etsy because I had a request from Angel. So that will be um, the social media day. If you have specific questions about um, Etsy, go ahead and leave them in the comments for this video and I will check it because I need to make sure that I can do it because there's too much to do on Etsy for me to really, really show you. And I may not know all the answers, but at least I can try and look it up. So, um, I mean, I am on there and I have an account so we can look kind of in the back end there. So y'all have a great day. Send me out with some hearts. And if you liked what you saw, be sure and share the video. Have a wonderful day. Happy crochet.